Hi crafters, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and today I've got a really quick and easy Christmas card tutorial using our beautiful ice skate stamp set. So this one's from the Chloe Classics Volume 2, which is our lovely new A5 stamp set. So it comes with the mittens, the little embellishments and the bow as well. So I'm going to be showing you how to create this gorgeous quick and easy card today. So we're going to get started. We're going to do the ice skate first. All of the materials that I'm using are listed and linked in the description below. So please do click in there, have a little look and you can shop all of the products that I'm using too. So we're going to start off by taking a piece of heat resistant acetate, which I've got here. And we're going to take our ice skate stamp. So I've already got my stamp stuck nicely onto my acrylic block. I'm going to take my little anti-static bag and just dust over my heat resistant acetate with my anti-static and then I'm going to take my clear embossing ink pad and I'm going to ink up my stamp so you want lots of tapping all over the image to get that ink all nicely on there what we're then going to do is place the ice skate down and press so you want firm even pressure all over the image like so we're then going to lift that away and we'll have a lovely ice skate stamp there. So I'm going to grab a little bit of scrap paper and we're going to take our embossing powder and sprinkle that over the top. So I'm using sparkling snow today, which is a lovely bright white with all of that lovely glitter in there too. We're going to pick that up and we're going to tap away at the excess. So with the acetate, I always find giving it a little flick helps just get rid of any extra embossing powder. We're then going to put that straight back into the jar. I'm going to heat this up. So using our heat gun, we're going to go straight in. I'm going to move that paper out of the way so that you can hopefully see a little bit clearer. And just heat over the image. So as soon as it's turning to a lovely bright white, I am just moving that heat gun over the image like so. Okay, so you can see how fab that's looking there. So just give that a couple of seconds to cool and then you can just give it a little wipe over just to get rid of any anti-static that may be left on there. What I'm going to do now is roughly chop around the edge like so. And I'm going to flip it over. Okay, and we're going to start and use our Dries Clear PVA and start to glitter in this beautiful ice skate. So I'm going to be using one of our beautiful blue sparklicious glitters and this one is actually called Bluebell Wood. So it's not necessarily from a Christmas collection, but it just works really well with this lovely frosty kind of look on this particular project. I'll just pick that little bit of glue off the end of my metal tip here. There we go. So I'm just using my Dries Clear PVA glue with the little metal fine tip. And all I'm doing is just glittering over the ice skate like so. I'm going round the laces. I have done this one slightly different to the finished sample, but we'll just keep going with it. So I'm going to infill this all with the blue and I'm working on the back of the acetate. So I'm working on the smooth side, not the side that we've just embossed on. So just scribbling over with that glue. It gets that all nicely filled in. You kind of just want to make sure you've got glue all over the areas and what I'm doing is kind of the tips in contact with the acetate so what I'm doing is kind of just scratching. Does that make sense? Not, not like hard scratching. Just popping a little bit of pressure on there so that the tip is in contact 
with the acetate. There we go. And then we're going to take our scrap paper back in and we're going to pick up the acetate and we're going to cover it in that bluebell wood glitter. So we're going to sprinkle that over the top. I like to leave mine to sit just for a couple of seconds and then tap away the excess. Then you can see we've got that boot. It will be filled in. So because we're using dried clear glue, when you flip the boot over to the correct side, like the one I've already done, you can see how that's all filled in with the glue and the glitter. So we're going to continue on. So what I always recommend is you start with your darkest colour first. So oops, in this case, it's that lovely blue. Let me just see if I've got a little, little brush just to sweep the, um, the waste glitter away there. With a right little tidy round in my craft room and I've put things down. I don't know where I've put them. Let me grab my little dust pan. There it is. Right, so we'll just sweep this up. I like to sweep it onto the paper. I'm making such a mess here, but it's Christmas. It doesn't really matter. Put that a little bit back into the jar. These glitters, honestly, we they come quite quite full and then or sometimes they've settled and you think oh there's not quite a full jar there but once you open them and the air gets back in it's like how do you get that back into the, the jar right so what we're going to do next is take our ice skate back in and i'm going to fill in the heel so to do this i'm going to use my chunky crystallina glitter again everything is all linked in the little description below so we're going to just infill this and then we are going to take, get rid of my little dust pan, our chunky crystallina glitter. Now I love this glitter, it's beautiful. It's fabulous for Christmas because it's really got that gorgeous kind of look to it. So there we go. Okay, and then we are going to take our finer crystallina, which is this one here. I think that's got the wrong lid on. That's Crystal Crush. Let me take my finer crystallina. And there we go. And then we'll take our glue again and we're going to fill what would be kind of the blade of the ice skate in. And again, take your glitter, just chuck that over the top and then you can see how that is all nicely filled in. So once that has dried, it's then gonna look like this. So what you then wanna do is just trim around the edge. Now, because we've worked onto that heat resistant acetate, you don't need to worry too much about your cutting out. If you've gone outside of the lines or anything like that, you can just trim it back in. Now, I also like to trim in the holly, just so you don't get like a double image when you light this up. So, once it's dry, this is how it's going to look. Bring this one back in, you can see the difference. So by allowing that glue to dry, you get that beautiful glitter shining through. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take my little uh, self-adhesive sparkles, and I like to just add some of these onto the laces. So I'm taking the smallest one from the sheet and just working down, adding these little sparkles onto the boots, like so. And you can see, oops, see how beautiful that looks. I love these little AB ones as well because they pick all of the colours up from around the edge. That's that part done. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab a piece of the Vista Pearl card. So this is the card that we're going to use for the background. I'm going to take my ice skate stamp, just grab that in. I'm going to take my card, give it a little dusting over. I'm going to 
ink up my stamp. And then I'm going to place this down and press. But I'm only stamping the very top part of the boot. So you'll see, I'm going to sprinkle my power rubber. That's the only little section that I'm really interested in. Okay, I've got a little bit of paintbrush Ooh, in my embossing powder there too. And I'm also going to take a piece of crystal white pearl card. I'm going to just trim a little bit off. Don't need a full piece. So we did it. And I'm going to stamp another one onto there too. So what we're going to do is take our heat gun. And we're going to heat this up. So again, we're just waiting for it to turn to that lovely, bright, sparkly white. And there we go, that's that one done. I'm going to pop that to one side to kibble. And I'm going to grab in some metallic silver super fine embossing powder. We're going to grab our stamp back in. We're going to re-ink the little holly leaves because that's the only little part that we're really interested in. I'm going to take that little piece of crystal white and we're going to stamp the little holly leaves down like that. And then you're going to take your metallic silver, sprinkle that over the top. It's going to go back into the jar. And then we're going to heat this part up. So again, just by holding your heat gun still, that'll go to a lovely bright silver. I'm going to trim this down and we're going to pop this to one side because we're going to use that again in a moment. And what I'm going to do with this one is just trim it out. I'm going to chop those holly leaves off. We're not too interested in those. And just trim it round like so. So that'll then fit on the top of the boot. And then on this one, we're going to take the little holly leaves and we're just going to trim these out. Now, a little top tip with cutting is always work round and just move your paper rather than your scissors. Okay? It honestly will make it so much easier for you when you're, you're cutting out and things. So just twist that paper and you kind of feeding it in towards the scissors. There we go. And then next up, we are going to take our Drives Clear PVA glue. And we're going to infill the little holly leaves. So we're just going to cover that with the PVA. And then I'm going to take the chunky crystallina and pop a little bit of that just over the top. There we go. Okay, now we're going to start and build up that ice skate design. So we've got our base one, which is that lovely one done on the acetate. And then we've got this little blue piece. But what we're wanting to do really is we want to add in a little bit of faux fur. So this, for this particular faux fur that I'm using, I got on Amazon. And I've linked it on my Amazon page. So I've popped the link below. So I'm going to show you how to use this. It is a little bit messy and you do get a little bit fluffy. But what you basically want to do is I like to go in underneath and just trim away a little bit from the back like that. And then this is when you have to get a little bit creative and a little bit like a, like a hairdresser almost. So I'm going to go in and I'll just kind of show it. There will be a technical term for this. But I just kind of trim the fur but I do it with the point of my scissors so I'm kind of just chipping in chipping into it there I mean you definitely wouldn't want me cutting your hair would you when you see the state of this but I want it to look like a little bit a little bit rough and a little bit kind of rag like ragged at the edges so we're then going to place that down onto here I'm going to just snip but I'm going a little bit higher 
than I need to. The reason for that is when you cut the fur away, it does take a little bit of the fur. Then I go back in and just trim it along the top where the fabric -y part is. And then you can kind of just fluff it up a little bit. And that then creates the lovely top of your ice skate. I again will go in and just trim a little bit more of this kind of fabric -y bit away. And then we're going to take our dries clear PVA and just glue this bit down onto there. And that then creates the little fluffy top to your ice skate. How cool is that? So then we've obviously got this beautiful little holly leaf. Now Becca's tucked hers in underneath like that. And the reason for that is she then added the little bow and these little dangly bits to the side. So to add your little dangly pieces, we're going to take two pieces of ribbon. So this is like about three millimetres, I would say, this ribbon. I'm going to glue my little holly in place. And then you want to just glue your ribbon. I'm going to glue one part down here. This part there. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then I'll add the pom poms on a little bit later. And we're going to pop this piece over the top. So, to do that, we're going to take a little bit of 3D glue gel. Which I've got over here in a little basket. So a bit of 3D just across the top. Oops. Like this. And then we're going to take that little fluffy top in and pop that on there. Isn't it cute? And then we're going to tie a little bow. So the bow again, this is ribbon that I've literally had in my craft box for years as well. So it's a very old one, but it's just like a white satin ribbon with a silver edge and it's about three mil in width. So we're going to tie this little bow. Like this and then we'll snip, snip the ends off at a bit of an angle. I'm going to stick that onto there. I'm going to pop that on later when we come to more assembling of the card. So for now, I'm going to lift that out of the way. I'm going to start on our background. So we've got a six by six card. I've got a piece of crystal, uh, just plain white, sorry, that's been cut to about five and three quarters. And then a piece of Vista Blue Pearl card that's been cut down to about five and a half inches. Then going to take our little anti-static bag, dust all over that piece of card. I'm going to pop my pin in the top of my glue. And I'm going to take my ink pad. So what I've got is I've got the little lolly, I've got the little sweetie. So you can kind of just arrange these on your acrylic block. And then you can just ink up the image and place this down and press. And we're going to do this lots of times to do this really randomly all over the background of our card. So I'm going to do another one here, like that. It's a little bit hard to see. So what you can do if you want to is take your scrap paper back in, take your sparkling snow, Pop that over the top. Tap away the excess. Okay, and then we're going to keep going. Re-ink the image. Smudge that a little bit there. Let's 
and put another one here. Re-ink. I'm trying to do this to keep this so you can see it at home, but I'm trying to like move so that I can see where I'm stamping as well. It's a little bit challenging, but I think I've not overlapped anything, so we're doing all right so far. Fair, my beast. Right, I'm going to leave it at that for now because we can always go back in and re-add a little bit more if we want to. So we'll sprinkle that over the top. There we go. If you've got any little excess bits of powder, you can take a paintbrush. And dust away. So we're going to heat this up. And that's then created our background. So what you can then do is take, oh, I've just missed a little bit there. And we go back in if you've just got it. So you can take your glue, go back in and start to infill some of like the little sweeties. So I'm gonna go in. Move this as much as you like as well. But just work around with your glue. And just infill all of these shapes. Sorry, I go so quiet <laughs> when I'm working on anything like this. I'm concentrating. So you can just work your way around, adding all of this in, infilling with that glue. And a little bit more glue on here. And finally, on that gorgeous candy cane. Then we're going 
going to take our ultra fine glitter so this one's crystallina again so crystallina is quite magical it's like a chameleon and allows the color to shine through from underneath so this will actually dry down and the glitter will look blue because you'll get the vista card shining through so again just sprinkling over the top So, so pop that over to one side and then we're going to grab in our little piece, our little white mat ready to go on our card. I'm going to take a chisel tip glue pen, which again, we've got these on the website too. And we're just going to drag along the edge of the card and then dunk that into our glitter. same with this one here so ordinarily i would allow it the time to kind of dry um but obviously Grabbing our base card, and we're going to start and mat and wire this up. So, to do that, I've got some of our foam pads on a roll. Now, if you want to keep this a little bit flatter for posting, of course, you can do that. Um, so, if I was doing that, I'd maybe do one foam pad layer. So, I'm going to flip this one over, a little bit of glue on the back again ordinarily i would allow this to dry before i try sticking it on so you can guarantee i'm gonna smudge it so fraction more that way there we go that little bit of smudge i can just put a little bit more We're grabbing our base card, pop our little foam pads. the base card there we go then we've got our ice skate which we'll add in so i'm going to flip this over and i'm going to put a couple of uh i should do foam pads i'm going to use 3d glue gel so a little bit of 3d glue gel to the back of there I skate down a slight angle. Obviously, all of my glue and things are still a little bit wet. So, we'll then trim little bits of ribbon down. And then we're just going to use our little pom poms. So, these little pom poms are just something that I got. I got them in the range, to be honest. They're just little mini pom poms. Um, I'm not really sure of the size or anything of them. Just going to take a little bit of glue and then position those down and just hold it for a second just so it gives it time to grab and then the same on this side here hold that and give it time to grab then we're going to take our 3d glue gel we're going to pop a little bit just into the corner here like so and then we're going to take three of those, three of those. Pop 
also going to take our little sparkles. So these are from a bling box. So this one is your everyday essentials. One more. One, two, three, one, two, three. Add a little one into the middle of that bowl as well. There we go. And then to finish the card off, got my little piece of Vista card that we saved from earlier and I've got a little Merry Christmas stamp. This is from another set. I'm not 100% sure which set this one's from actually. It's so just a little Merry Christmas stamp. So we're going to ink this up, position that down onto our card and press. Just missed the jar there. Oh, I'd, oh look, I've done it again. <laughs> I have to bring the little dust pan in. Right, so we're going to heat this up. And then we'll take our little trimmer. Give this a little trim down. Quite happy with that there. And then we're going to take our scrap paper and we'll go in with our chisel tip glue pen just around the edges so again just holding that pen at an angle dragging it towards yourself and working round flip that over Gonna go onto our base card there, and that would be our finished card. So when it dries, okay, it's gonna look more like this one here. So you can see how when that glue dries, all of these little white elements disappear and you get the lovely blue shining through from underneath. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got lots of inspirational videos on there and there's always more content coming your way too. All of the materials are linked in the description below. So please do have a little look on there. And yeah, everything's in the, in the comments below. So please do have a little look and you can visit us online at www.chloescreativecards.co.uk. I really hope to be able to see you again soon over on our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. Bye.